Okay, so I'm going to make this video of um, some helpful tips. Um, <clears throat> sorry if you can't see that well. Um, I don't have the best phone camera or the best setup, so um, here we go. Okay, so um, you're probably not going to be able to see the map very well on the camera. Um, but to the left of White Run, there's a place called um, Sleeping Tree Camp. Okay, what well you're um, going to show you a really good way to um, get your range up, and also you can get your um, congregation up. So here we go. Okay, you just gotta wait for it to load. Okay, so first I'll um, I'll go ahead and wait for um, till daylight here, and I'll first I'll show you the con sorry congregation. I'm so tired. Okay, um, someone made a video about it. Um, and the easiest way to do it is to wait for one hour per time because some guy made a video and he didn't uh, didn't do the wait one hour thing. He did something else. So what you're gonna want to do, um, you can get this from um, the mage in White Run. Uh, he's in the uh, White Run Castle to the right, and he's usually there about 7 a.m. Um, till the day's over. So it's called um, Muffle. And I'm actually, um, let's see, what should I level up? Oh, do All right, so I'm actually level 100, um, as you can see, um, illusion already. It's right there, level 100. So I won't actually level up. Um, but what you do is you hold it down like this, then you just let it go like that, click one hour, and my magic doesn't go down very much because I've upgraded so much. But um, if you're start just starting out, that will refill your bar. One, every one hour, it refills your bar. So um, here, I'll show you how to get your conjuration up. Here we go. Um, and so you just keep doing that for one hour. You just keep doing that muffle thing, and you'll level up in the beginning about once every time you do it. So it's really good. Um, Okay, what it was it? Oh, here we go. Okay, so you gotta get the balance swords. Uh, I'm not the first person to do this, so just to warn you, um, I don't want you guys to think that I'm trying to steal other people's ideas. Um, this is just in a different area than um, what other people are doing. Um, the best thing to do is in White Run, the mage guy sells a thing that does your 125% faster magic um, regeneration. So you're gonna want to do that. But, okay, um, let me get this in the other hand, too. Okay, so if I stand back here, as long as I can see the enemy, um, I can level up. But the only thing is, is once they see me, they're going to come running, so you're going to want to be somewhere where the giants and um, the mammoths can't reach you. So what you're going to want to do is go like that. You want to put them back away. And I don't have my thing because it's pretty slow. So, okay, so I'm hidden right now. Um, I need to get actually get their attention. Hang on a second. Okay, so. There we go. Now, I'm already level 50, so it's going to take me a while to level up from this. So if I don't level up right away, it's probably because of that. But see, so you get this guy's attention. Come on, come get me. Okay, now he's mad, so... Uh, usually once you attack him, he's gonna get pretty ticked. You're gonna wanna, um... Go to this tree camp place, and, um... I don't think he can get up on this very top rock. I don't think. Okay, so now that I'm up here, if I, um... Put this away, see, now he's in sight. So if I hold this down... 
There we go, I leveled up to 51 from that. So, see now, see on the top of my screen, um, I know it's hard to see, you can see that, um, uh, I can see him, you can see his health. So as long as you can see his health, you can keep doing this over and over again. Um, and I have dragon armor from my smithing, so that's the dragon armor um, that you get. Um, I'll show you guys some other cool items that I that I've gotten. Um, this Diedrich axe, if you can get that, it's 35 damage for one-handed, which is amazing. Um, I put all my stuff stored. So um, also, this is really good if you get one of their attention over here in this rock, on top of this rock where I am, which I'll show you on the map. Um, it's right next to this place. Um, you just sit up here with your bow, and he can't reach you up here, so you just sit there and you shoot him and shoot him, and then you'll, um, you'll get that up. But you definitely want to, um, you put it, change it to master, because you'll level up faster bowing that way. Um, and, um, you guys all know the book thing already. Um, I prefer, if you're going to do the book thing, just like one of the videos, take um everything that you have and store it um i'll show you guys a really good place to store it if you guys um haven't been in this quest yet you probably need to buy a house um because if you don't then it's not going to be any good because you can't store anything away and um you can't carry very many books uh, so and um another thing is is the way to get your um your smithing up the way i got it to 100 is you go to white run and you buy e iron ingot and um, s leather strips and you keep buying those you wait for 24 hours and buy as many as you can keep buying them and then you go right outside the shop um, which I'll show you and then you just make daggers over and over and over and you'll level up um, really extremely fast so if you head to Riverwood and you go in this building um, it's called Sleeping Giant Inn. Okay, I gotta wait to load. I'm really sorry for the bad quality and the time limit for this video. I know it must be frustrating, but um, that's all I have. So um, you go in here, and um, if you've done this quest already, back here will be open, and you can go in uh, the secret passage down here. And you can actually st store unlimited stuff in here and get your stuff. See, all... Everything I own is in here, um, really, pretty much. I got lots of stuff. Um, I can show you that um, I do have 219 doors of Oblivion books left that I can sell. Um, they'll sell for 17 a piece. So you're looking at if you get a full run, you'll have about, um, I'd say, probably $8,000, probably. Um, eight or nine thousand dollars, which you can't, not one person has all the money to buy them. You have to keep going back to shops and stuff, so. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is a really cool place you can store your stuff. Um, I will go, um, show you guys out where Right Run is to level up the, um, that, um, for the daggers and leveling up smithing. I have, um, actually a hundred sneaking, smithing, and, um, illusion right now I'm trying to get my um, range up so here we go okay so we're gonna go to white run which is um just up above wood, river wood uh, okay I'm hoping this is a useful video and it's helping everybody um, I would prefer this other video for the sneaking thing um, I watched a guy that did it for the Greybeards in the temple. Um, definitely watch his video because um, it would be easier and um, stuff and to see. Okay, so I'll, if you go into White Run, um, just inside this building, um, okay, I'll, I'll show you. Like, ask this lady, and you can buy it from this lady and the guy inside. Okay, so say iron. And, uh, I'll just get one of them to show you guys. So you buy one. Leather strips. Not leather. Leather strips. Otherwise, it won't work. Um. Okay. But you just... If you do the book thing first, um, then you can get a whole bunch of money before you do this. Then you go to use the forge right outside here. Um, you go to iron. 
um, right there, iron dagger. Okay, so you just make that. And um, in the beginning, you, I mean, all the way up to 100, you level up super fast. Um, so the last thing I'll show you guys, this is a really long video. Um, uh, you want to go to a place called, um, let me see where it is, it's called Slightless Pit. It's a um, thing that you can go to up here. Okay, so you probably can't see it on the map, but Slightless Pit is down from Winterhold um, from Sarthel, and it's above Mount Anthar. You go to Slightless Pit right here. A lot of people don't explain where the book is. Um, like, but, okay. Uh, so keep going, keep going. And if you want to become a werewolf, you need to go to White Run and go into, um, there's a big gigantic, there's like a big building that you can go in and talk to the people there. You gotta do some quests for them. It'll help. Okay. So once you get to Slightless Pit, um, you need to go to the right. Just go straight right. Keep rounding, keep rounding. And, um, eventually you'll get to the top of this hill. Um, which because I can't, you know, do all that fancy stuff with cameras, um, you have to wait the extra time, which really sucks. Because I want to go to bed. And I feel bad for everybody having to watch this, so. Okay, so it's kind of dark, but um, if you get here, you're going to have to fight some skeletons. Um, they're kind of weak, but there will be a dragon, too, that you're going to have to fight. Um, so let me see where I had... There's a certain guy that I hadn't looked at. Oh, whoops, there, okay, so, uh, you gotta search, oh, there's a new dragon, cause I'm gotten farther into the game, and I just picked up that book, and it will not let me move, okay, whatever, um, but when you kill the, actually kill these guys, um, one of them will be carrying the book of, um, the Oblivion, oh, here he is, Okay, so he actually came back up here for some reason. Um, so... Okay, so I'm gonna get him up. You just wanna wanna kill him. Wow, that was quick. There it is, Doors of Oblivion. And if you go like this, you just press A, back out, A, back out, A, back out. It'll actually keep getting him. See, I have nine of them. That's, that's the glitch. Um... And, yeah, and he actually has an Ancient Nord Battle Axe, which does 25 damage. And, um, so yeah, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you all enjoy the video. Bye.